let's talk about the unsung hero, the guy that nobody ever talks about. And when no one talks well, about you, loves. but when no one talks about you when you play this position, you're doing something right. And that's the long snapper, Casey Crowder. <laughs> And I'm sorry, but if that's not the most awkward p- picture I could have possibly found of him, like that. <laughs> everyone uh, loves a good snapper. <laughs> Thirty-three <laughs> years old now, six foot one, two hundred and fifty pounds. Originally signed as the undrafted free agent from Iowa by the Cowboys back in 2014, he was a Pro Bowler back in 2018 when he was with Denver. He's been our long snapper now since 2020, and. What it really boils down to is that Giants haven't had any issues with snapping the ball. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. 100%. That's what I'm saying. This is one of those positions that if we know you by name, we're either a really big fan of the team, not of the long snapper, because the long snappers have no fans. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get his jersey just uh, now. <laughs> It'd be fun. Um, but... Either, like I said, you're, you have, you're somebody who's a really big fan of the team, or he's a guy who messes up all the time. And Casey Kreider just does not mess up. I mean, you can go back to even, like, you know, the issues with the, the, the occasional blocks on uh, the guy we just talked about a moment ago, Jimmy Gillen. It was the snap wasn't the problem. He was holding on the ball too long. You right. know, you look at when the placements are when there's a field goal being you know, being performed. That ball lands right where it's got to land every single time. You don't see a lot of pressure up the middle. So that's the other part of it. You don't just think people just think about the long snapper as the guy who snaps the ball. He also has to block when he's done snapping. There is an added part to that. It's not just snap the ball and walk off the field. The job is that easy. I go for it. <laughs> you have a long snapper? That's enough. I've been told. I've been told. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> uh, Anna. But yeah, like I said, I think, you know, we're going to keep him, obviously. But I guess the question we talked about with Graham Gano also comes with him. 33 years old. How much longer does he play? Probably a couple more years, guys. Yeah. I mean, he's a special so. teams guy. So it's not like he's seen the field as much as, you know, a regular center or whoever. Like he's. Yeah. But usually like the mid-30s is when those guys are done. If I remember correctly, Zach Diossi was, what, 36 when he retired, I want to say? Stuff like that, yeah. I could be wrong. I don't know that off the top of my head because I wasn't planning on talking about that. But uh, yeah, We're talking about the longevity of your long snapper. Sometimes you get into the 40s, but, yeah, the flashes could come in late 30s. <laughs> well, Zach Diossi is 40 now, so he'd have been 36 when he retired. I was, I was actually dead on right according to what i'm seeing here yeah he was 35 years old as last season but he was 36 in training camp which is when he retired uh training camp in 2020 when he lost the job to casey Kreider. it all goes full circle oh it's a circle (laughs) it's a circle circle, a snapper first and it moves us (laughs) all I'm like better than Northwest of this song. <laughs> uh, wow. Poor kid. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Two Giant Goofballs, a New York Giants podcast. We appreciate your support. Thanks so much.